Yo, look at this though. Zoraline has been doing pretty good, chat. Dram portal redeemed after three years, yeah. Definitely. Uh, it's about to go 3 0 right now. Look at that Essence Chandler. Oh my god. <laughs> Ain't no way. A 13 12. What's up, my furry friends, and welcome to a new Bloom Barrow early access video. And today we are checking out Orts Off Bats. And I had pretty high hopes for this uh, for this archetype. I kind of like ranked this like my top three decks that would actually like make an impact on standard. And uh, I think it will definitely do that after having played with uh, with the cards. And this is not like an optimal version that I built here, which is like best of one. And it's playing a lot of cards that I, I would probably shove in a sideboard or don't play with at all just for the sake of like testing out new cards as one does on the early access client. In my more optimal version of this deck, I would probably shove Elizal Core and like Amalia and probably a, a lot more like removal as well. Uh, but I'm not doing that because on early access, like people are trying to have fun. So look forward to like a, um, a more like upgraded best of three mature version of this deck that's going to be able to uh, get you pretty high on like the mythic ladder, hopefully, uh, when the set drops on Arena on the 30th. But for now, you can see what this deck has to offer when it's not super optimized and yet it still did incredibly incredibly good and put in a lot of work and uh, you can already see like kind of what what the vibe is because the vibe of these uh these bats is basically losing life and obviously gaining life as well very right, own brand for uh for bats so a great example of that is essence Chandler. this is a two mana two one a johnny pride made on steroids um as long as you've lost life this turn it has flying and vigilance uh whenever you gain life put a one one counter on it and when it dies you put its counters on target creature you control so what i'm doing in this build is basically taking advantage of my lance to uh to lose life so i have thran portals and pain lands in here and i can just basically use those to cast something and that will uh, make me lose one life and trigger my Essence Chandler and give it Flying and Vigilance. But it also works really nicely with Lunar Convocation. This is a two mana enchantment that is incredibly strong and takes over games on its own. Um, at the beginning of your end step, if you've gained life this turn, each opponent loses one life. We love to see that. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain and lost life this turn, you create a 1-1 one, one Black Bat creature token with Flying while you're at it. You can also activate it for two mana and pay two life to draw a card. So you can also make it lose life by like make yourself lose life by activating it. Now let's talk about life gain effects in this deck as well. We have unfortunately lost Lunark Veteran with rotation. So Case of an Eden Feast is kind of like the only like one mana whenever a creature in control enters to gain one life type of card. Like I said, you have Alice of Core as well, but I decided to play like Valley Quest Scholars in this brew because I just thought it was fun to play with new cards. Uh, Valley Quest Scholar is basically the uh, the, the bat lord from, uh, from Bloom Barrow. Um, we also have Ruin Lurker Bat as a way to like gain life of a one mana card because uh, it's just a 1-1 one, one bat with lifelink. That's pretty good. So Deep Cavern Bat's also in this deck. Two mana, one one, lifelink. Care about that. Um, and when we gain all that life, we have the new Starscape Cleric to turn that life gain into life loss for our opponents. Super sweet. Actually, like quite overperformed. It added up really quickly, uh, especially when sometimes you got a little bit like stalled in the air, like making sure that, you know, when a, a, a tiny bat token ends the battlefield, you gain one life from the case, you turn it into life loss. Especially with like Zoraline, the Starscape cleric did really good. Zoraline is a new like three mana legendary creature, three three. Nords of colors, bad cleric, flying vigilance. Whenever a bat you control attacks, you gain one life. So it means that you get one life gain trigger for every bat that attacks. And that just is really good with the Starscape cleric as well. Um, and especially with like the Essence Channeler as well, of course, like super, super strong. Um, whenever Zoraline enters your attacks, you may also pay a white and a black and two life and when you do you return target non-land permanent card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it i mean i feel like zorling would have already been good without that text but like with that text on on there like the card just feels super cracked i mean your opponent removes your bat no problem I'm getting it back removes your chandler no problem i'm getting it back it's just incredible um and you know card advantage not a problem either because we have the the bed bob this is dark star auger three mana two three Offspring 1 black, which means that if we pay an additional 1 upon casting it, we get a 1-1 one, one copy of the card. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to its mana value. Um, the greatest thing about that is just like I said, with two of these cards, you're never running out of uh, out of cards. You are taking some damage though, but that's completely fine um, considering how much like life gain is possible in a deck like this. We have a lot of 1-drops and 2-drops, so we don't even like damage ourselves too much in this deck. I mean, if you start adding cards like Aklazots or like, you know, the, the Black Virtue, which are also gaining you life, 
you do risk a lot more with the bad bop even though i will definitely probably try those out in like the best of three version of the deck especially like a copy of aklazots because it's just a fantastic life gain card and it's a bad as well um like i said it's a relatively like unoptimized version of bats it was just there to like try out new cards more so than anything and it's for you to, to see as well how the new cards perform so that's definitely something that i prioritize with some of my early access brews like just checking out the new cards right like we're playing against other content creators. We're not playing on the ladder. It's not a competition. You don't gain anything if you win. So it really, early access client is just a fantastic you know, like opportunity to, to, to check out what these cards do and not immediately get punished if you don't play like the most optimized version of a deck. But yeah, look forward to my future video on Orts of Life Gain, where I will play the Amalias, I will play the Alice, of course, and I will build the most competitive version of this deck. That is possible. Um, I will do that as soon as uh, the set drops on the 30th. So you have a, a great upgraded version that you can copy paste uh, if you would like to do that. So for now, I would refrain from uh, identically copying this because a lot of these cards are just there for me to, to try out and have fun with. Um, but yeah, check back in later when I give you the, the best version of the stack. For now, you can still very much enjoy the gameplay and see how the bets perform in the, the early access client. I had a lot of fun playing this archetype. I love bets and I love these like Orts of Life game decks too. So I had a blast. Um, let's get into the gameplay here, but before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out and your support is greatly appreciated. And definitely subscribe because you don't want to miss out on any of these Bloom Barrow brews. I have so many more lined up for you and I'm very much looking forward to the set dropping on Arena. So with all that being said, let's get into it. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard, premium protection for your trading cards. And thanks to Ultimate Guard, I get to give away not one, but two Zipfolio 360 Xeno skins with a new art from Bloom Barrow on them. If you want to participate in this giveaway, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below where you let me know your favorite Bloom Barrow creature type, and also follow me on Twitch. Winners for this giveaway will be chosen on August 5th, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. And in the meantime, you can check out the incredible range of Bloom Barrow products over on the Ultimate Guard website using my link down below. Thank you so much, Ultimate Guard, for sponsoring this giveaway and the video. Now let's get back to the gameplay. Okay, so we're maxing out Lunar Convocation with this, right? It's true. Like, the, the entirety of the Netherlands is, like, below sea level, I think. Or, like, nearly at least a big part of it, so... At the beginning of answer, if you gain life. So if we do Ruin Lurker Bat and we pay for the Convocation with Caves, we get a bed out of it, right? That's pretty cracked. I like that. Well, at least the part where I live is definitely... Should definitely be, like, flooded. <laughs> I definitely live in the Swamp Park. Call me Shrek or whatever. Bas basically Shrek. <laughs> Shrek Lizzle. Why are all my opponents like AFKing? What's going on? Gosh, Shrek. Yeah, basically it. That's basically the the, <laughs> the vibe that I'm on. Okay, we're, I think we're in this. I would love. I would hate for this hand to go to waste. Okay, so we go Ruin Lurker Bat. We might be in a bat mirror. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's Alice, of course. See, like, that would be a pretty good one. So I guess we are Thran Portal gamers, so we'll put that on white. So then the part, the plan is to swing with Ruin Lurker Bat. We, we will pay. Yo, Finley! Thank you to 42! So now we've gained life, and we've lost life, and now we get a, a free bet, and we keep that going every turn, and it's gonna, like, stack eventually, too. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, this of course is also like really uh good for like life gain vibes. That would be in like the Orts of Amalia shell. And which is exactly what they're doing. Okay. The opponent is showing us basically what you could do with Orts of Life Gain. Nar, I'm taking it. Okay, so I'm gonna do courtyard we're gonna get ourselves uh case of the eaten feast plus lunar convocation i think so then we lose the life we're gonna gain life and then we're gonna gain two life of these bats entering yo 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 
and we're popping off the bat engine is online so this is where i wonder if like if we had the rabbit we would be doing a little better like rabbit instead of starscape's cleric is kind of what i'm thinking but we'll see i guess the starscape Scape cleric is gonna go crazy soon with the case too i hope so we'll see the, the rabbit would kind of cook yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see Like, I don't think I care about this right now. So we're going to do case. Then we're going to do cleric. We'll pay for that. So then I think we get like two life loss triggers on that. Perfect. Um... Do I want to lose my Rune Lurker bat? That's kind of the thing that I have to think about, too. I don't think I want to lose that guy right now. It's currently like a meme on TikTok, but it's from Enigma. So then we gain two life. Scars... Holy shit, Scar... Oh, no, never mind. Cleric is showing that it should be in here. <laughs> All right, Cleric, hold on. You're popping off. You're popping off. Wait a second. He's popping off. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Nah, the, the cleric's popping off. So I, I did not mean to underestimate you. You're doing the thing. <laughs> All right. It's pretty good to turn life loss in a, or life gain in a life loss, you know. And you could also offspring this guy and then you go even, even crazier. The bats. I actually have my dancing bat somewhere too, don't I? There we go. We need Vibat here. We cannot play bats without Vibat present. There we go. Okay. Once you draw Essence again. Yeah, like I wish we had Essence Chandler too. The opponent has it though. I wish that was us. Okay. So that would gain them life. Oh, brother. I I don't think I block it. Solar strike. Ooh. Let me just swing, see what happens. Or damage to target attacking, blocking, or tapped creature. We'll see. Are they going to try to like find a way to lose life or something? I guess they have the caves. So then we gain the life, we drain them. Do I still gonna like activate this? I don't know if I've lost life this turn yet, but like now we always get the bats anyways, and then we win the game, I think. We win the game by a lot because like there's so many more triggers on the way. All right, you know, it did the trick. This enchantment, like I said, is probably pretty cracked. It's a good card. And we have the pain land. All right, we're gonna see how this turns out. Oh, okay. Really curious to see what the opponent's going to do with that. I, I, cause I think this is one of the, like the, the weakest looking cases for standard at least. We'll see. Sacrificing permanence. Oh yeah, Lizards went 6-0. It was just destroying the whole fort. It was literally destroying early access. It wasn't even like... <laughs> it was uh, it was wild. It was really good. Alright, so yeah, we just gave our Essence Channeler uh, Vigilance and we will do that every turn. And flying. 
Because we have throne portals and caves. Yeah, it's roots, but I'm not sure why you would need scavenger's talent in roots. Maybe I'm missing something, though. We'll see. Yo, Quinn, thank you for the prime. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Not sure. Like, no, I'm good. I definitely still should build like a discard deck for sure. So I think it's time for us to do Lunar Convocation. So we lose life. So Essence Chandler flies. There we go. We get the life gain on it. We've lost life. We've gained life. We're going to get ourselves a bat. Okay. We're kind of, like, we're kind of doing it again, you know? Like, cash grab. Interesting. Vibat. We, we got Vibat. Present. It was bought as well. Yeah, it's okay. I feel like we had better things, but I don't hate it. Scavenger's talent, but they're not really sacrificing anything, are they? Or do they care about the level three? Pro probably. I think they just care about like the the case for the level three. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, Valley Quest Caller has arrived. Hold on, yo, 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 <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Wait, I think that means we win with the uh, the Lunar Convocation, making them lose one life. Hold on, pause champ. And we get the scry. All right. See, that was a that was an absolute plus one for the rabbit. That was good. I don't know if this is looking great, though. So Thran Portal does work with the Chandler and Zoraline would make it gain life. So we'd have a curve there, a bad bob. We do be on the draw though. I wonder if this is potential enough. I'd want to try it, but I feel like we'd lose. But just to test out Zoraline, maybe we should give it a shot. I would if I was were to like play to win, I'd probably have mold this, I think. Is it another roots player? Mm, nah, I think I would have just like I think the curve is just like a little bit too high, like for what we're trying to do. It's not really uh, setting ourselves up to gain a bunch of like light. Is this the same opponent? Possibly. I'm not sure what human token is that just what they give away to like other creators? So, yeah, I I guess we try to give ourselves access to, like, the, the greatest potential, which is just, like, Zoraline on three. So let's try that. Would Phyrexian Arena be better? Well, I think Bad Bop is really sweet, though. And once again, like, we're trying out new cards, you know? We could we could play it, like, we could build top-tier decks. We have the entirety of Bloom Barrow to build. Early access is just, to, like, not necessarily play optimal stuff, but have fun, you know, and try out new things. It's a different human token? Human token is what, CN folks? Oh, interesting. It's a lot of human tokens. <laughs> Thank you, Yeoman. Ah, shit. This is what I mean. Um. Wolf Arrow? Okay. Kind of in our flop era right now. I mean, it, I wish it was probably like a bad keep, but we'll see if uh, the the you know we can clutch it somehow. I think we might. Full house with Zor, <laughs> full house with Zoraline and Bad Bob. It's pretty uh spicy. As long as these roots players are not finding roots, then I'm happy. All right, all right, all right. A Zoraline moment has arrived. I think you want to take that. I 
So yeah, we gained two life of that. I'm glad she says whenever a bat you control. So that's really good now. All right, all right. Maybe we're cooking. Maybe we're cooking. All right, Zorlene. Looking good, looking good. Not my permanent card. Zorlene roots when? <laughs> Zorlene roots soon? She, she do be, like, Insidious Root Scouted. She, like, reanimates non permanence permanents. With mana value three or less. Abs and Roots. Honestly, it doesn't have to be, like, a terrible idea. Uh, are we Bed Bobs or Lunar Convocation? I feel Lunar Convocation is so good. I kind of want to slam it. Bad Bob do be a good attacker, though. Should we just try Bad Bob? Let's try Bad Bob. Just for the sake of trying out something new. We'll do Bad Bob. Alright, so we're gonna go... Is this... So I'm gonna gain, what, 3 life? So that means the Essence Chain goes to 8. Would it was Lunar Confiscation lethal? <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> Punished for bed bobbin. I think I think Lunar Confiscation was lethal because it would it would have made the opponent lose one extra life. That's such a shame. That's such a shame. I got punished. I had the right idea. That's fine. We ball. We're not flying. Yeah, we would. We we just activate the Thram portal. Or what, do you, what do you mean? How, how would we not have it? Yeah, we, that's why we play the Thram portals. No, yeah. No, wor no worries, no worries. All the cards are new. That's why we're Thram Portal gamers. I fucking hate this land, but I could see it with an Essence Channeler and in the bad archetype. <laughs> I would never willingly play a Thram Portal unless, like, I'm really, uh, I'm really thriving, you know? I would, I would absolutely hate to do that. Like, I could just do Thram Portal and then that would trigger my Channeler, which is pretty sweet. All right. Yeah, Thram Portal actually a good land worth playing now. Who would have ever thought? Not me. Yo, look at this though. Zoraline has been doing pretty good, chat. Thram Portal redeemed after three years, yeah. Definitely. Uh, it's about to go 3-0 right now. Look at that Essence Chandler. Oh my god. <laughs> Ain't no way. The 13-12. Yeah, there will be a lot of a lot more removal in like best of three and stuff, but that's like that's crazy div. So, I just I like we don't have to entertain that. They're not doing anything new. They're they're not showing off any new combos or new cards. Like we don't have to entertain it. They played a fable passage. You know. All right, we're against lizards. Bat versus lizards. Uh, bat. Let's get ourselves some uh, Essence Chandlers up in here. Is this a cut down? It could be. If it's not, then I'm not sure what it is. A Monster's Rage, probably, actually. Like, that's completely fair. Like, if some removal, I don't mind. But, like, if you're act actively casting a removal spell every turn, like, yeah, I'm going to have an issue with that on the early access client. Um, if else, it's whatever, you know. Let's get ourselves another Essence Chandler. I'm just trying to, like, maximize this little guy out as much as I can. Sure. All right. Now we see rage or just above. I like the fact that this guy gets one one counters. Like that's pretty damn good. 
All right, so we're going to lose one life to the Lunar Convocation, and we're going to gain one life with a bat entering. So then we're going to get ourselves a little bat. Yippee. Sweet. Oh, it's the bestie Gev. I love Gev. Such a cute card. Yeah, I, I don't... I'm not... I'm not blocking that yet. Oh my god, Hired Claw. What a one-drop. The new Ebon Legion. <laughs> so insane. Um, probably have to slam Deep Gavern Bat here, I fear. Okay. Gev is a yapper. <laughs> yeah, I figured they'd have rages. Gav is a yapper? Wait, did I did I lose one life now? I, I didn't check. Ah shit, I don't think I did. Hmm. Okay. No wait, I Yeah, I didn't shit. We have to really pay attention to the fact that we have to make sure that we lose um life yeah auto temper doing the wrong thing <laughs> it's fine I, it's on me of course i need to just double check that this is going to be painful now i don't know if our bats are really going to stand a chance against these lizards um i don't know let's see A little worried. Because I also could have like chomped with a 1 1 bat, but I can't now. I'm not going to chomp with my deep cavern bat. Like, I'm not crazy. A goat! That comes in play tapped as well. Trench warfare. Uh, all right. I'm, I need to make sure I lose the life here. We're going to gain one life. We're going to do this. I think we are uh, we're cooked here. It's unfortunate with the convocation. Burning Tree Emissary and Rectals. Yeah, I know. We're thriving. We're thriving. Yeah, not feeling very good about this. I think that higher Call will mess me up. I think... Mm. I don't know. I think the opponent's just trying to, trying to find the line, the lethal. But I think they'll have it. I think if they do like fence and they. I fear. Rage is a problem. It it definitely is. It definitely is. Ain't no way. Like I, I'm just cooked. <laughs> I'm just cooked. Like this is just good. We you know we we know this. We the situations that we went undefeated with my uh um with lizard six zero. So, uh, it was, there we go. We're, we're heading off. To be fair, like, if we could have blocked with that bet earlier, we would have been alive. I'm just saying. If we could have blocked with that 1-1, one, one, if I didn't mess up with the, with the like, the life loss thingy, we could have blocked, so. Um, okay. I can fight. I think. We'll see. All right. It's it's a pretty good hand. Like the Zoroline is about to go crazy. <laughs> a rabbit. I think we gotta start off with a Threm portal here first. Threm portal gaming. Yeah, this should be like the God curve, I think. 
Turn one Rune Lurker Bat into turn two Essence Sheller into turn three Zoroline should be like the greatest thing that we could ever do. Like, and then we're gonna gain like two life and then we're gonna gain another life. The Essence Sheller is going crazy. <laughs> All right, there, it's going guys, it's going. Meanwhile, the opponent is just best of wanting it up, which I really respect. Um, I mean, we could do like, there's a lot of things we could do, actually. I think Starscape Cleric just always wins anyways. So, yeah, I, I, I got it. Thank you so much, Levy. Thank you. I think this just always wins because like all the life gain gets turned into life loss as well. Look at that. That's a turn four kill for bats. <laughs> turn four kill bats. I mean, obviously it involved no removal from our opponent, but it's pretty impressive and over by quite a lot too, you know? All right. Yo, Lunar and Essence Chandler. Oh, this is looking good. Let's go. All right, all right. Like, I could definitely see us replace the Deep Cavern Bat with Amalia or something, you know? Or like the Deep Cavern Bat with Elizokor. I feel like the Bat is just... I mean, I don't think Deep Cavern Bat is necessarily a best of one card anyway, like, right? So... You could always make those, those like, um, changes. So let's get ourselves a... Channeler. Yeah, it does have lifelink and it, you know, it stops some things from your opponent. Like when you're eventually playing best of three and like the deep gather bat stops a sunfall or something or like a Liliana, <clears throat> you're probably really happy to have it. So, but yeah, and, and like the early access client is like whatever, probably, right? But uh, are we lunar convocating it up or are we deep cavern batting it up? I think we're lunar convocation vibes. start off with probably wait did we not get a bet after all too or do we need to gain life too oh we need to gain and lose okay it's fine just gotta like make sure that we see this i, I should have played bet now i thought i would get a one one out of that or no i'm good <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry about don't worry about it, Bestie. Alright, let's give that flying. I could probably also like draw. Pay to life to draw. Oh, Balin! Hop to it. See like a deep covered bat stealing a Balin is still like pretty relevant, you know. Oh uh, draw a card. All right, we're a little flooded here. Don't steal Balin. <laughs> I need my bats to cook as well, you know, like... At least we're not playing hater, like, fucking 20 removal spells in the the early Axis client. I need to let- I need to let- give my bats the best chance I can give them to win. Balin looks fun. Balin looks like a lot of fun, for sure. They're hopping to it. So cute. Look at that bunny. <laughs> Looks very soft. Cute. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll block something, I guess. Uh, we get the homie Starscape Cleric. So we're going to put that in play. Get the triggers. Whoa, lose the life. We can shove the Essence Chandler in the air. I can do bat. I can play rune lurker. I think this has to be lethal. Yeah, and then you get the uh, the life loss from the convocation and the life loss from the starscape cleric. I like the synergy is there for sure. I feel like between lizards and like bats, lizards probably still seems a lot more like a realistically like a really strong standard deck. But bats is bats is like. That's just doing it though. So this is definitely the slowest um, hand we've seen so far. I 
wonder if we should just try to keep it as an experiment, you know? Like, we do have quest caller into dark star and then we could do some stuff with zorlene let's just try it it's a bit of a slower approach more like a mid-rangey approach we can try we can try we can try so we'll have to grand portal it up i fear um let's do valley quest caller God, I love this art so much. Like, I will say it every time I see it, chat. Every time I see it, I will say it. It's just the cutest thing to me. It's dead. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wow, it did not last very long. I could bring it back with Zoraline, though, at some point. I should be able to bring it back with Zoraline, so we got that going for us at least. No, no, Malias. Like, we're focused on just doing, like, bad stuff. People are really, like, out here, anyways, playing, uh, removal tribal decks. Okay, they have some other stuff going for them. Crime committing? Rackless crimes? Interesting. Um... Shit, I really have no idea what the move is here. I I guess the snores. Like I, I guess I'll just like stop there. Uh... Yeah, no, I think I gotta just like stop there. Card draw potential. Okay. They just get another. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I made the wrong choice then. That's fine. It is what it is, I guess. All right, this is going to be good, though. We'll see what they have planned. I think, sure. I think now they're gonna combo us with the cheesy. Like, what is it? Um. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't that bad. So I can use Zorlene to bring back my Miss Scholar, my uh, Miss uh, Quest Scholar. Yo, 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 that's good. <laughs> Woo, go Zor. Oh, all right, yo, Kukin, that was good. That was really good. Mm, okay. Yep, 
Yo, Wes, thank you for the two months. I think we just did it. I don't know. All right. Mm hmm. Three Yo, years. Bruno, That's three it. years. Thank Hopefully you so much. Fine today, less than three. Artifact. What did artifacts get? I can remember. I feel like there wasn't much artifact synergy at all from what I've seen. Huh. I don't recall seeing a lot of, uh, there like four artifacts. Yeah, I don't rec recall many. Yo, Pendle, thank you so much for your prime. Jam portal for the purpose of losing knife. Yup. Exactly. Skater, thank you for the sub as well. Appreciate it. Sorry, I don't have my camera on. I'm just inhaling some fries. Or like a flesh deck. Okay. Other flyers. No, that could be a problem. Hmm. Flyers and flash, yeah. Wow, I wonder what's gonna happen to my essence channeler. I'm I'm I don't know. Oh my god, a weird folks bodyguard? That's crazy. Would have never guessed. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Feels like the deck could definitely do with some more removal, but we'll see. So it's a, it's unfortunate that lunar convocation says at the beginning of your end step. It, it really is. I wish it worked on my opponent's end step too. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, I think I let these bats live. You know. I think my best bet is to go with another Lunar Convocation. I could actually get myself like the Offspring Bed Bob, which is pretty cool. All right. <laughs> sure. As long as I'm still gaining life and, um, creating blockers. 
My best bet. Ahahaha. <laughs> Ahaha, you got me. My best bet. <laughs> I think they realize that attacking isn't really going to work out for them. I feel like the main issue so far with these bats is that, like... I mean, I guess it's really in this matchup because the opponent really just has a lot of flyers, but they don't really attack well. Ninety-five percent old cards plus salvation swan. That seems about right. I hope you have fun doing it. <laughs> there it is. The swan. Okay. Sauce packet is the, the worst. Um, do I care? Mm, mm, do I? Um, Simon, thank you for six. Do I care? I mean, I could just stop something. Sure. It's fine. Exactly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All of a sudden. A dream. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see if it does something, but yeah. Wow. Triggers. Okay, we're gonna gain a bunch of life. We're gonna scry a ton. Holy, this is a lot. Brr. Yeah, triggers go brr. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, this is looking pretty good actually. And I think the opponent loses, like, two life as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep another convic- Lunar, like, Lunar Convocation seems to be, like, the real deal. Um, very much so. Scry value. I'm just happy with another Convocation. Like, it's just, it's just working out. And they stack together so nicely. So Lunar Convocation is main deck best of three. For sure. Like, this card is really good. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. We just have to gain one point of life for the opponent to lose two life. Like, yo, enjoy your thank you for the two months. Appreciate you. This is just really nice. You could see it in like a mid range. Oh yeah, it could definitely just be like optimized super well in like a any like life gain mid range deck. Oh.
Did they like do the math for exact lethal or like are they just doing something? <laughs> Wait. Like I'm not dead, right? Like, am I crazy? Why did why do they like act as if they <laughs> they played with such confidence that they like did the math for lethal or something? I don't know. Like this is 13 damage. Like, am I missing something? Like, I and I don't even I, I don't know. I wonder if I'm the problem. Uh huh. So, what what's the move? <laughs> uh, what's the play? Okay. <laughs> they play with such confidence. I really was like, we don't, we don't have it, but we're good.